Northern Ireland we have a strong and fast growing animation sector, a cluster of maybe 10 key companies that are all extremely successful uh, in the global marketplace in terms of uh, developing and producing animation content. Basically the academies are to expose young people who are obviously already interested in this area to some extent to the hardcore realities of working in these companies to make sure that they know they're there. I'd always been wanting to do animation. All of my moving images projects for GCSE and A-Level had involved animation to some degree, but I'd never really had that proper understanding or education of it, and that's why I was very eager to join up for this course. I feel like this course has opened me up to more types of animation. I'm really glad I joined this, and I think it'll definitely help me in the future. Having the Animation Academy work with young people who are maybe hopeful about being filmmakers in the future, program makers, and by giving them an opportunity to experience you know, the industry at that age could really inspire the next generation of talent. They've told us a lot about what the industry's like and so how to get into it. For instance, Northern Ireland alone is getting a bigger animation community and like the industry, so they are looking for newer animators, so it's opening a lot of doors. One of the things that I think the kids have really taken from this is that animation, yes, it's fun to do in your bedroom, it's fun to do in school as a project, but it's also a market and there's clients and commissioners and broadcasters and people will pay you to do this. This is not just a fun hobby. This is very much a career. I chose this course because I really wanted to learn about the industry itself, the studios and how they work. For the first uh, day, I've learned about development, which is the sort of role that would pitch an idea and it, things like that. And it just went on from there. Uh, I learned so much thing from this course. The success of any creative sector is the quality of the talent that is behind it. And in a way, if you're talking about the future, that's not today's talent. That's not the people that are sitting in the, at the desks now. That's the people that are going to be sitting in the desks next year and in five years' time. Kids that are involved in the academy today, some of them could be in those companies for real within a year. The majority could be in those companies within three or four years. We've produced shows for several of the big broadcasters in the world, Apple, Netflix, Amazon. We're looking at long term. We want to make sure we have grassroots talent here. So it's important for us to, to show them that this is actually a viable career and there's, there's production companies in Belfast that do this kind of thing. What they're doing today is working with a very specialised piece of software called Nuke and that's very widely used in the visual effects and TV and film industry. I'm amazed at how well they've really picked it up. I mean, I've, I've trained people and talked to people and worked with people for an awful long time and you know, it's, it's taken them a good wee while. I mean, these guys have had a couple of hours and they picked it up just like that. It's been really, really good to see. It's been an amazing experience since I got to experience so much of the animation production and learning the ins and outs. I've loved it so far and definitely thinking of going forwards with it. The Animation Academy, I believe, has been a great success. Um, it has been fantastic to take a bunch of 16 to 19 year olds, really enthusiastic kids who really, really are passionate and want to do this, want to get into animation. It's a course that was designed and created by the industry for the industry and I think that's why it works. I have an interest in animation. I probably want to do it in the future. So it's good to be able to learn from professionals and actually get a look into the industry. We were practicing animation with John McCloskey and he was just teaching us the 12 basic principles of animation. So like stretching and squashing. They're very naturally talented animators. Just come together and meet other people of the same age that are they're interested in the same uh, subject area. It just kind of feeds their enthusiasm for the subject. All the participants seem to be very keen on animation. Most of them have actually practiced some animation by themselves, either in a sort of college environment or at home. And um, you know they've explored different types of animations. Um, and they're all different, you know, they all have their own sort of specialist interests. Some of them are more into concept art, some of them are more into 3D. But they've all got a dedicated interest in animation. It's a lot of fun with um, meeting new people, he um, shares the same interests, and also meeting professionals. He's also um, been doing in the same industry and uh, workshops for a very long time. So it's a good thing for me to just to communicate and gain more knowledge. It's really good to start thinking young in this business. This shouldn't something you should come to in your late 20s like I did and you think it's all mystified and so for people who are already successful so it's great to see more young people getting involved. Here's Baba Puffin but you can see inside little Baba is a skeleton so even though Puffin Rock is a really painterly warm textured gorgeous art style it's, it's actually based on little rigs and little skeletons. There's a massive need for more talent we have three new shows 
coming down, down the road, we need to crib for those. So the more talent we have here, the better it is for us. Ideally what we want is to keep the homegrown talent uh, coming through at a rate that actually is sustainable for the industry. The animation workshops are a very good start. It takes an awful lot of people to make an animated series and that means that there are an awful lot of employment opportunities. Working within animation, if you are, have the right skill level, the right attitude, the right passion and commitment to quality. So the only way we can grow from here is by growing our capacity. And that means new talent, new people and good education.